Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about our new topic that is uh, how to create a browser stack in our uh, for uh, Appium server purpose. Okay, this is basically a browser stack. We can able to create a uh, like a server side. We can able to run for it. See, be, uh, basically till the date we done for all the scripts by running a local, right? All the scripts, what all the scripts we created all the things we done for locally not for a remote section location okay and here we are used for directly our emulator and ui and we are running for all the scripts and by using for local configurations right local everything is local only not in a remote place then if, if you want to use remote location to execute then how we can able to and we have this is the Browser stack this is having for free versions. Okay, I'll provide you this you uh, this link into our description location. You can just click and create for your account. Uh, before creating, how how you need to create and all we'll see. Okay, step by step I'll tell you. Based upon that you can create it. Okay, and now we need to click on free trial version. Okay, once you click the free trial version. It will ask you there are a couple of things for sign up purpose. Create free account or like using for username and business email ID and password and this particular uh, ignore and sign up. Okay, this is the three things you have to provide in case if you don't have business account, but you want to use for free account by using Gmail, you can able to sign up by using for Gmail account. Okay, once you click this particular Gmail account, the, it will ask you to continue with the with which email ID you want to use it. I already logged in, that's why it is showing for my name, it is directly, okay. In your case, it will show you for different thing, okay. Just you can uh, provide for username and password, then it will log in into that particular application, okay. Once it is done, you will not see this particular window, you will see a different one okay you will see different not for the same okay what exactly you will see means i'll show you in the notepad i'll type you and it will ask you something like how could you like to test your app before that it will uh, give one more thing that is called hi and what name you are providing that name and what are you looking to test like this it will give you one question okay and also it will provide you uh, we need to choose the type of applications what are the things you want to like uh, uh, present our mobile app testing like that we need to choose mobile app it will be presented and you can uh, sorry uh, like a ui web ui or mobile app this is the two options it will give you choose for mobile app then it will ask you one more question how could you like to test your mobile apps then it will ask you this question okay you can uh, and also it will give you for two options one is manual and another one is automation choose for automation side okay if you choose manual it will uh, give you manual steps if you want to choose for automation it will give for automation okay once you click this one and then it will provide you this particular window which is the window currently you are able to see right that particular window you will get it okay once you get it then there is a app products app automated is there okay these are two this thing you can able to see sometimes maybe app automator you may not be seen okay some here products will be there and there are two options any one of them you can able to choose app and under that it will give you for uh, app automator okay maybe it's a different version to version it will be different okay if you are manual app live and app automator and it will give you like this okay don't worry about it maybe 
now I have this is this many options and this different cases. Maybe in your case it will be different, but all the products. If you see web and API, then you can choose for API and then you can insert that app automator. In the top, you can able to, if you mouse like this, maybe you will get it automate. It will go for automate location. Okay, but you will get it for this all the things, options. Okay, no need to bother about it, app automated. Okay, once you make the, sorry. One second, if you mind. Now app automated and automated. See app automated is there and here it is coming for new version it is updated for me. Maybe you in your case also it will update for different different apps, okay. Once you done here, right? Just click on upload, okay. And here it will give you for username and password. I'll tell you how it will. And once you click in this upload location, if you have any upload like APK file, now this is my APK file, right? And if I'm clicking, it will upload the file, uh, which is an APK file we uploaded, right? Like we have APK file in our local and it will provide you for this code as well, okay? Just copy and paste it into separate, okay? This will help you another location how you can able to like once you close this particular code will be collapse but you have to store it see in the previous world uh, previous one year back how it will happen once you upload it it will show you down and it will present until your work is completed or next day also it will show you now new version what is happen once you close or refresh anything happen then this particular file it is not showing any location okay some other person it will show some other person it is not showing different difference happening every time it is changing their ui uh, member to member if you pay something money they will show you this everything into in dashboard location if you are going for free version you will not get for anything in case if you need any help for the documentation and setup and everything based upon the versions you can able to see Node.js, Nightwatch. Nightwatch right now in the market it is going on now. And this also UI automation, API automation also presented. WebDriver, IO, C Sharp, Nugget, PHP, uh, PHP Net, Python, uh, Ruby. These all the programs, how you need to integrate this particular browser stack also they given for documentation. One by one, you can able to go through that as well. Okay, no, there is no issue for that. Once you save that one and we'll see for how to integrate this particular uh, uh, browser stack into our web driver IO that also we'll see in the later video session. Okay, this is all about for creation of browser stack account. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.